Hi everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show how a gradebook can be set up in uh, iSAMS platform. To set up a new gradebook in iSAMS, press on New All Modules and select Gradebooks from, from the modules. If the gradebook module is not seen here, you can search for the same using search for a module option. After selecting gradebooks window or module, if you have to create a new gradebook, you can press gradebooks wizard. If there are gradebooks which you have created before, you can see that all listed here. So right now we are going to create a new gradebook. That's why I'm going to choose gradebook wizard. Here are the steps to create a new gradebook. Read the steps carefully and press next. This area is to write the name of the gradebook. As our school is following the nomenclature, we have to follow the same. I am going to create a gradebook for my learning group, 10 LG3, for the year 2021 and 22, for the subject computer science. So for that, I am going to write ten, year 10 LG3, CES for the year 2021 and 22. If you want, you can keep a description for the same by writing like this. Press next. Here, this is a space to choose the staff for the gradebook. This can be avoided as of now. Now, this, these are the characteristics which can be included into our gradebook. From this, we are choosing only send flag, which helps us to what categorize send students with a star symbol there in our gradebook. So if to, to enable this send flag into our gradebook, select the send flag option. Now press this arrow, single arrow. You can see that the send flag came here. It shows that it will be included into our gradebook. Press next. Given here are the extra calculation columns which can be included into our gradebook. But if you include all these uh, columns into our gradebook, our grade, gradebook will be lengthy. That's why we are going to avoid this by pressing not included option. Press next. So this is all about creating the gradebook. You can press finish here. You can see that the gradebook with the name here, Tanel This is how a, a gradebook will look like initially. Because we have not in, uh, assigned any students or we have not inserted any marks. The first, now the next step to do is to assign students into our gradebook. Any modifications or assignment of students which can be done to our gradebook using list view. So press list view. So you can choose these options for any further modifications to our gradebook. Our first step here is to assign students. So for that, you can go to students and assign students. We have an extra feature here to add this or add or assign students by learning group wise. For that, you can go to academic. I have to choose computer science students from 10 LG3 learning group. So for that, my department is ICT, computer science subject. And here you can see year 10 LG3 CS. I just need to double click this so that all the students from year 10 LG3 CS has been listed here. If you can't see this learning groups, you have to go division wise. Like you have to go to school structure, then you can see a class with divisions. You have to choose that. Even after choosing division wise, if you are not happy with this, uh, the list of the students, you can go to manual selection where you can uh, add the students one by one manually. So right now for me, learning groups are ready here so that I'm choosing it, pressing next finish button also. So here, if you want to see the modifications which you have, which you have done, you have to press workbook view. See here, I have all the students from year 10 LG 3 CS and there is a send students which is shown here with a send flag. Watch the next video to learn how to add uh, marks and calculations. Thank you.